morning welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm gonna try to take care of my few problems with the GTO for good and I'm gonna do that by installing the new pump assembly so let's get to it okay all right so I got my used GTO fuel pump and bucket and what I decided to do is to go ahead and change out everything so I want to end this few problems for good so I ordered another Texas speed pump which I'm gonna open this um, it's an air motive 340 I'm gonna open this um, I got my hose to go to replace that and it is as you can see here it is E85 safe and my pump is also E85 pump. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this assembly done, put this pump inside of here, get everything soldered up and wired right, and I'll pull the tank out of the GTO and drop this in there. I just went and got all of this new because I don't wanna mess around with it no more. So I'm gonna get this done up. I'm going to put inside a tank and hopefully all the few issues will be done with. Um, and I still have another whole assembly that I'm pulling out of it. So I'll keep that. I'm sure I'll use that for, um, for some other project that I have. So, all right, well, let's get to it. Okay, got the bucket separated. Looked like this pump was in pretty good condition. So... Even though I'm not using any of this, uh, I like to look at the condition of it. So, didn't really say what the mallet was on the car that it came out of, but looks like it's in pretty good condition. All right, let me continue on. Okay, got the fuel pump apart. Took out the fuel pump. Got the wires, getting ready to solder the wires onto the new pump and get everything hooked back up. So I'll start back recording once I get this new pump figured out and then I'll put everything back together. Okay, I was trying my best not to have to splice the wires, but there's no way for me to do this without splicing the wires. So what I did is I took the connector off of this pump so I can run it up through there and I'm going to put the connector back on once I'm done. But I'm going to have to splice it probably right here because I still want all of these wires to use their original connection. So I'll probably splice it right up in here, tie it in with this plug on the black side, and then I'm gonna have to cut this off and splice it in there also, so I can use the original plug right there to go back up in there. So I'm gonna try to do everything exactly like it was before so that I don't have to deal with some of the issues that I had before. I want to make sure this is right this time because I do not want to go back in this tank. I know I have, this is probably what my third few issue with the GTO video and I want it to be my last. I don't want to go back in this tank no more. So I'm gonna take my time and do everything right, which is why I decided to buy a whole nother pump assembly, a brand new Aeromotive pump, new fuel line, I'm doing everything brand new this time so that I don't have to go back in this pump again. So, all right, well, let me get back to it. Okay, I got the wires spliced in and soldered on that end and on that end. So I just got to put the, put the pump up in there, put the connections back on, and everything would be plugged up like original. Okay, got the pump in, got it wired up, plugged up and everything. The pump doesn't slide right in. It, it takes some force force to get it to go in there um, to make sure it seats down in there real good. So um, it, it's not a direct slide in place like the, the stock pump over here. So it does take some force to get it to go in there. All right, so I got to put the filter on the end and hook everything else back up and I'll be ready to put it back in the bucket. Okay, all right, I ran into a little issue here. The hose that I bought is shorter than the factory hose. So, I think I'm just gonna go back and use the factory one 
Um, not sure if it's compatible with E85 or not, but I don't use or I don't run E85 in this car on a normal basis. I've never run it in it. I was just planning to do it. So, and this is a plastic hose. They feel about the same, look about the same. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the factory one back on and hopefully I don't have any issues with it. Okay, got the pump configured back in its stock configurations. All the ground wires and stuff it's the same so like i said before in the same stock configurations i just put a wire tie on there to clean it up a little bit but other than that everything's good i'm getting ready to drop it in the bucket and plug up the fuel level sensor okay i got the whole assembly together and this time it's done in the complete factory configuration, I didn't change anything in factory. I just put the, pump, the new pump in there and hooked up everything exactly like it was in factory. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this in a bucket of gasoline and test it and make sure everything works before I put it in the car. Alright, so let's test out this fuel pump. I went to Harbor Freight and got a clean bucket so I can put the fuel in it. Um, I wanted to have a clean bucket because I plan on reusing this gas, which is 93 octane. And we know how much 93 octane costs now. So I'm just gonna pour it in here. Never put gas in a bucket before, so don't plan on leaving it here too long. But I hope it doesn't start melting the bucket or not. Okay, that's all I put in there. Should be about two gallons. All right, let me get the pump. Okay, I got the pump hooked up. I disconnected the plug from the hat so I can run directly to the fuel pump. So I got that plugged in. Of course, I got my jump box that I'm using for power. And I got it down in here. And I'm about to turn it on and see if we can get it to pump. And it pumps. I don't know if, how well the video picked up on it, but if you saw all that black stuff coming out, um, all of that black stuff is good that I actually ran it through just now so that all that black stuff won't be in my lines. But that's from the filter. There's a carbon filter, and all that black stuff is from the filter. So I got all that purged out. It's a good thing I purged it out. So I see it's working. Everything is working. So let's turn it back on one more time, see how clear the few come out. Still pumping black stuff. Let me let it run a little bit. See if it's gonna clear up. Okay, you saw that I just successfully wired up the pump. You saw it pumping. Saw the black stuff that was coming out, which is just carbon. But I got all that cleared out, and I just took the pump out of the out of the the, not, the gas poured the gas back into the bucket and got everything cleaned up. I didn't want to videotape any of that. But um, it seems like I got everything wired and configured correctly. So the next thing I'm going to do is drop it in the tank. I'm not going to record that because I've 
done it plenty of times before and I don't want to just sit up and have you guys go through that whole process again so I'm going to drop the tank drop the um the fuel pump into the tank I'm going to put the front rotors on and I will start it up and, and show you the fuel pressure since I still got the gauge on there so if you haven't click that subscribe button click like share these videos and I'll see you in the next video Thank you.